Okay, we're going to install the fly barless control gyro in this plate in the front of the chassis. It's set up so that you can use Velcro. Uh, once I've got it put on and I use the standard uh, recommended tape from the manufacturer, we're going to make sure it can't come off by covering it with Velcro. Next we're going to put the battery on. I'm going to use uh, some 3M foam tape just around the edges. I'm going to mount it uh, right at the bottom of the radio tray and then use the large piece of Velcro that we put in a little earlier to capture that. Make sure that's uh, good and tight so it can't move around. And I've got the other piece that we're going to go around this direction with. So now it's, it's captured from two different angles. Now I'm going to mount the fly barless control unit. I'm going to put it right in the center of the, the plate up at the top, just in front of the battery. I'm using two-sided tape, and we're going to capture that with Velcro as well. The last major component I'm going to put in is the receiver. There's a lot of different ways you can do this. I'm going to place it right on top of the battery. I've put some Velcro on the back of it, so it's just going to connect with the Velcro that I've already put into place. I'm going to run a strip of Velcro beneath the battery. Remember, it's supported by uh, foam tape, but not in the center. And then I'm going to use some Velcro to make sure that that can't get away either. Okay, now we can start uh, making all the connections. Remember, I'm running a high voltage setup, but the throttle servo is not a high voltage servo. So I'm using a Fataba PS01, which is a, a 5 volt step down. That's going to run specifically to the uh, throttle servo. And I'm also running a setup where I run dual power inputs. I run one power input into the receiver and another into the fly barless unit. And I do that with a Y connector, which I'm going to Y connect off of the uh, rudder servo in this case. Remember, the servos are all running at full battery voltage. Uh, so that, that's not an issue. This way we kind of distribute the power between the two without it having to go across the S-Bus cable. This is a Fataba setup, so there's only one connector between the receiver and the fly barless control unit. All right, I've got uh, everything wired up now. You can see there's, there's several places in the side of the frame where you can secure the wires. I'm using a combination of uh, wire retainers which come in the kit and Velcro and tie wraps. There are, there are a couple of slots in the frame, one just under the main gear and one up near the clutch. I'm um, using, like I said, a combination of uh, Velcro around the wires and then tie wraps through those slots to hold everything in place along the frame. The key is to try to get things away from the gear. And then uh, in the front you can see everything's bundled into the, the fly barless controller it's only a couple of wires that go into the receiver itself. And then on this side, uh, there's just the wire coming off the aileron and then the power wire, which I said, like I said earlier, I'm not going to use a switch. I'm just going to, these two wires are going to hang out the bottom of the canopy hole. And when I want to power up the system, I just plug these in. Okay, that completes uh, installation of all the electronics. Next thing we'll need to do is um, set, up the, uh, set up the model, but I'm going to show you some options first.